What is going on guys? Thanks for joining my channel Bob and Hood. This is Bob. Today is March 13th and today guys I am excited to go over with you guys week 11 of my 52 week $15,000 option dividend strategy. This has been my biggest week yet so let's get started. As you guys can see, my total market value is sitting at $126,114. Of that, my equity money that I have is at $63,917.24. Margin that I am using is at $62,196.76. So if we do look down here, guys, energy transfer, one of my second smallest positions has still been making me the most money dollar wise and percentage wise AT&T has been on an absolute tear going up to $1600 Microsoft guys is positive 1340 realty income is up 673 new residential is at positive 645 enterprise products overall I'm up 615 new stock that I bought guys is tattooed chef I did buy 100 shares um, it has made me $80.31 already. So let's check the portfolio out for the day. It was a very great day for me. I was up uh, $1,162, 1.85%. After hours, I was up $55. I don't know why this is not showing my total day, but it was as high as $1,700 and as low as $300. So I'm glad where it finished off at. So let's check the week out, guys. I am up $3,706.99, or 6.16%. We check out the month, guys. I am up $4,678.49, or 7.9%. The three month, I'm up $8,558, up 15.46%. We'll check the year out, guys. I'm up $18,713, up 41%. And we'll check the all time. I'm up $13,205, up 26%. So guys, I'm very, very happy how this year is going. I'm actually a little concerned that it is going up so fast, so quick. Like I said, just in this portfolio here, I believe I'm up just over $10,000. As you guys remember, if you've been watching my video, I was at a point where I was down about $26,000 quickly recovered um, off of Simon Property Group and Tesla. Um, so it did bring me back up here, but I'm very happy where my portfolio is. Like I said, guys, I did do a uh, share, 100 shares of Tattooed Chef here. Um, that is basically just a vegan company uh, that has come out on its own. It has been making a lot of products from different companies, um, but they are starting to expand on their own. So I just took a small chance, it's about $2,000 investment to try to double my money. But the main reason is, I'll show you on the other screen on my spreadsheet, is that the options are very high for that. And if I were able or had to sell them at a certain price, I wouldn't mind selling it at that price, making a quick profit. So let's check out the weekly options, guys. I know I said that I would try to cut it down a little bit, but as you guys can see, I definitely did not do that. So let's start with AT&T, guys. I did do a little bit more risky with AT&T. I did a $31 strike price. Um, I did buy back at $6 because I knew on Friday they were going to come out with some news. Um, and it, it was a possibility of the stock going up a lot or possibly even going back down. So I did make a quick $84 um, on this. And then it did actually go down. So I did buy a call, which I normally do not do with AT&T. Um, but it went down so far that I've been watching um, how AT&T reacts, and uh, it did went it did go up uh, pretty shortly after that. So I did buy a call that expired on 319 on the 11th, and I did sell it on the next day on the 12th. I was able to make a quick $456 in premium um, just off of this play here. So I was very happy with that. I definitely could have made a little bit more money um, because it opened up about 40 cents, 50 cents higher than when I did this call on the next day, but it went up almost a dollar. So I definitely could have made probably $800 off of this, but it did fall all the way back down to about 29 um, 
$29, um, $29.80. So I definitely could have lost more money than this as well. So I also did do a sell call uh, with AT&T for a $31 strike price when it was doing a pretty high run up. Um, I was only able to be able to get $3 premium, which is better than nothing. So I was able to make $42 off of AT&T. Uh, Realty income, I still have this till the 19th, but for some reason, the last 30 minutes or last hour on Friday, it shot up like a dollar, dollar 25 cents. So currently, it is over this price. It's at 62.80. If Friday comes around or Thursday, um, I probably will have to buy the shares back. Hopefully, I would be able to break even or possibly not lose too much on it, but we'll see how the week goes. I believe Realty income will go back down below 62.50. Um, by the end of the week because I'm not sure why it ran up so high the last 30 minutes to an hour. Energy transfer, just a safe call at $9. I was able to make $22 here. EPD, same situation, $15 here. New residential um, has broken $11. I believe $11.02, $11.03. It's currently at $11 now. Um, if I were to sell this, um, I probably would let it go. So if it went above 11 and I had to sell it, I probably, probably would let it go to free up some more um, buying power, uh, maybe to go something to go into something else. Uh, with Microsoft, I was able to sell a call. Um, it did go up. It did fall back down. So I bought it when it came down at $22 to make a quick $36 profit. I was able to sell another call at $34. Um, I bought it back for $3, making a $31 profit, and I did it one more time. As you can see, it was a little bit lower strike price, and it was like maybe an hour before 3 o'clock on Friday. So I was able just to get a quick $6, and it did expire worthless, so add another $6 on that. Uh, Apple, I basically did the same exact thing uh, for the most part, um, but I did end up... Um, buying some calls on this. So I bought a call on Apple, which I normally don't do, but I've been watching Apple as well. Um, so I was able to make a quick 71 bucks with Apple. I did the same thing to make a $99 one. And I did sell some calls um, as well. So I made $80 on a buy call. This one was actually a sell call um, on this one. I bought it back for $9 to make 19 bucks. I did one more just to try to get something out of it. Um, so like I said, I made 14 bucks on a sell call. Um, I did buy it back at $9. So I made an extra, you know, five bucks off of this. So it was pretty good, but all my buy calls, I definitely made a pretty decent amount of money. Um, the next thing was, uh, stitch fix. Um, it did go down a significant amount. So I did a lot of buy calls on the here. So I was able to, to make $3 Then I ended up selling it, um, to make $3 profit. I did the same thing to lose $3. And then I bought it back as a buy call. I made thirty-three dollars. Um, this one here, skills. I kind of took and I watched some YouTube videos. Um, I didn't do any research on this, but he was doing three plays. I kind of picked the cheapest play, and obviously it didn't work out for me. So I bought a call, thirty-five dollars strike price. Cost me one hundred forty-five dollars. They came out with their numbers. Didn't do very well, so I was had to sell it at a loss at one hundred dollars. Um, but the funny thing is, they gave three options to pick. This was the only option that did not do well, so it was just unfortunate on my end. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to call the YouTuber out, but um, you know, for the most part, uh, two out of the three uh, definitely paid off uh, very well. So it's only a hundred dollar loss. So I'm not too mad about that. Um, Tilray. So the reason I did this buy call because GameStop, AMC has been shooting up, and then shortly after that, these started shooting up as well. So I did do a buy call here. So I did end up making seventy two dollars. Um, CZIV, um, I also did the same thing, Churchill. I did a buy call on this. I was able to make a quick $68. Uh, good RX, so I was glad I made this play here. Um, I was debating on holding on to it because I know they were shooting out their numbers. Good RX has been on a decline. Um, so I did a $235 strike price uh, expiring on the 19th. So luckily I sold it just before, like literally minutes before they came out with their numbers. I was able to make $15 because right after that, the next day, even that after hours, they dropped about 8%. So I would have basically lost everything. It's probably, I think it went down to like 50 bucks. So I would have lost basically everything on here. Um, so with the profit I did and them still dropping, I did a $45 call um, for 50 bucks. So we'll see how that goes. They did drop a little bit more. This is sitting at $38 right now. So I'm losing right now, but I'm hoping on Monday, Tuesday, the numbers will bounce back up. Uh, I did do another buy call on GE. 
Um, they said they're doing, I believe, an eight to one split or something with that. I just read it very briefly, and the stock kept on tanking and tanking and tanking. So I did a twelve dollar call, and then within probably two hours, just maybe ten minutes, fifteen minutes before the um, uh, stock's about to close on Thursday, the stock started going up. It went up about twenty cents, twenty five cents. So I was like. I'll just sell it back um, and the stock didn't stay around that price went up just a little more so I could have made maybe a little bit more money with it but I'm happy making hundred five dollars it was like in a two-hour period uh, Nokia I did a buy call here um, I tried to buy back in it. I wanted to hold it but I bought it for twenty two dollars and it shot up to twenty six dollars right away so I was able just to sell it make a quick thirty six dollar profit I think I should have just held it in the long run a um, little bit longer because I think it will go up but like I said $36 profit on a low um, cost base on here is better than nothing and like I was telling you guys with Tattooed Chef here um, I actually this is actually a $45 call uh, premium so I only got $45 out of this um, but that's not a bad amount of premium for my strike price that I have on here and also the date so it expires on Friday to get $45 off of this with such a low um, cost that I had on it I couldn't resist so I did a $45 call and if you did a next month call I believe it's like 170 bucks so we'll see how this goes but if I were to sell Tattoo Chef I wouldn't have a problem with it my average cost is at $20.60 this is not a dividend paying uh, stock so this is one of my only stocks I really own that don't pay dividend a little bit more risky uh, but such like I said it's less than um, you know two percent of my total portfolio so but if you guys check here my total dividend or I mean, total options that I made on here this is the highest I've ever been I'm at a thousand one hundred and eighty four dollars total with doing this and I've only had two losses on here so like I said this one here negative 100 the other one negative three is basically nothing because I broke even with the other call that I did and this negative hundred is one that I normally wouldn't have done I just you know saw something that I that I thought was going to pay off but it didn't but I'm not mad at that but like I said one thousand one hundred eighty four dollars in option trades in one week absolutely amazing i'm very happy with uh, all the decisions i made um, selling short term as well because a lot of times i didn't hold long enough and i lost out on money but like i said as long as i can make money i'm fine with that so let's move on to my long-term dividend option strategy the only thing added here is tattooed chef 100 shares, I think I can get about $75 per month. And if you look at this yearly option here is $900. So if I get $75 per month, um, that's $900. My total investment is $2,060. So just doing, if, if I get $900 a year in option trades, that's 44% percentage to profit. So, you know, I can't be too mad at that. And if I had to sell it, I would be sold at a profit and it would be short term. So I wouldn't be mad at that either. I can invest uh, in other stocks uh, that are down. So on the stock side, guys, it has been pretty crazy. I mean, as you guys can see, I've been down, you know, $1,100. And then as you guys can see, I'm up $6,649. So with AT&T here, I was up 1278. They were on a pretty good run, so I'm up 1684. Realty income just like I said in the last 30 minutes to an hour on Friday, they they just shot up a dollar or 2 dollars. So I was sitting at negative 446, I'm up 640 674. Microsoft, uh, I was at 982 for 2 weeks straight. Uh, I'm at 1341. Uh, energy transfer has just been absolutely amazing. I believe I'm almost up 30% with energy transfer. Uh, went from 17.98 to 21.28. Uh, with Apple, <laughs> has been uh, not my best moment with them, but I think next week Apple will do well. They have to do well. I think Apple will do better. Microsoft may stay flat. Some of my other stocks I think might go down a little bit, but Apple, this is three weeks in a row, as you can see, of how long I had Apple. I mean, it's been three, four weeks in a row where it's been losing a significant amount of money. But I think next week is Apple's turn, turn to uh, go up. Uh, EPD has been a pretty good stock as well, just steadily going up. So 513 to 6. 15 uh, other stocks. I didn't count Tattooed Chef because I still own the stock. So if I sell it, I will add this into this column. But overall, with all the other stocks that I had and got rid of, um, up $1,074.
Uh, new resident has been pretty steadily just going up. It started bad, it went okay, stayed flat, and I'm up 646. Like I said, just on the stock side, I'm up $6,649. Uh, and like I said, that's in 11 weeks. So that's absolutely amazing. And if you guys know the strategy that I'm doing, I'm not counting the stocks. Like I'm expecting it to go up. But if the stock stayed flat, I still expect to get $15,000 in option and dividend trades. So let's move on to the dividend option side here uh, with AT&T. This is the highest option trade that I made with AT&T. Like I said, you guys look here, I made you know 50 bucks, 20 bucks, 80 bucks, $20. This is the option uh, dividend part, so I don't count that. But um, like I said, I haven't, and I lost 280 last week because I had to buy it back. But like I said, $582 off AT&T is absolutely amazing. Uh, realty income, I'm waiting until next week to see how that goes. Microsoft, uh, $73 in option trades, which is a little crazy because buying and selling four or five times to make $73, it's $73, but that's a lot of work and me keeping an eye on it to see if it goes up or down. Uh, but I was able to get a nice $56 dividend from Microsoft as well. Uh, energy transfer has been just basically steady. I'm going to try to maybe get a little bit more than $22 because it goes from $2 premium to three, four, or five sometimes. And I usually just go with a safe bet at two. And then when it does a run up, you know, I could maybe wait a little longer on that. Uh, with Apple, I'm very happy with that. Even though I'm losing money on Apple stock itself, as you guys can see, I am making money on the option side. So that's one way to offset the stock if it's going down. Um, like I said, if you look at here, I was down Apple about. 40 bucks, but I made $193 off the option side. So technically with Apple itself, overall, I was up. Uh, EPD, just steady at $15. Nothing crazy uh, with EPD. Uh, other trades I did is at $299. Uh, new residential, like I said, it's a monthly one, so next week I should be getting a nice dividend, um, I mean a nice uh, option trade with that for it, uh, but it might have to sell it. But as you can see, I'm not making a lot of money on the options. I did make it on the long-term option, but for the most part, this has not been one of my higher um, paying one. So if I did have to get rid of this, I would add it into um, other stocks or possibly open up a new position with a different stock. But as you can see here, I made $1,240 off of option trades and dividend payments, which comes a grand total of $4,516 um, just in option and dividend pays. So if you look here, $6,600 off the stock and then $4,500 off that, that's like $11,000 in 11 weeks. So that's basically $1,000 a week that I'm getting paid on here. Um, of course, you have to minus out the margins, the gold margins here, uh, 131, 119. But like I said, guys, it's absolutely amazing. I'm almost one third um, to my goal at $4,500. Uh, my $15,000 goal. So I'm almost one third there and only about a quarter way through the year. So right now, guys, it's on. It's amazing right now because the more money that I get into the stocks, the higher that the dividends should be paying out and the higher that the option trades I should be having. And with stimulus money, I am getting a pretty good amount of stimulus money. Um, it is me, my wife, and I have three kids. So I would be getting $7,000 back on the uh, stimulus. But obviously all of it is not going to go to me. Um, I will get a portion of it. So whatever money I put in uh, my Robinhood, the margins will technically add that same amount. So if I were to put $1,500, I would have $3,000 in buying power. So I think what I am going to do is if I do add it into my portfolio, I think I would sit on it because you know everyone's talking about you know are we in a bubble? If is it going to go down? What's going to happen? Um, I don't know. Nobody knows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just Hopefully, I'll be able to resist of buying other stocks unless something goes down like AT&T or Realty Income right away, and then I'll buy into that. Um, but I think I'll sit on it for a little bit and see how the market goes. And if we have another red week like the past few weeks for, for, for the most people, then maybe I'll buy into certain other stocks. But the last two weeks that people had red days, this has been basically my best week because for the most part, I don't have any too high of a risky uh, portfolio. You know, AT&T Realty Income is not going to go up or down 10, 20, 30 percent. It'll go up a couple percent maybe a day, if that, or a couple percent per week or month. So like I said, my portfolio for the most part is somewhat safe. 
Um, not too much of a risky portfolio, but obviously me playing on the safe side still bringing me in basically $11,000 for the year so far for 11 weeks um, has been uh, really, really good. So if for some reason the stock market does go down and I lose all of my stock side ones, no matter what guys on this option trade side, this will always stay with me. This will always be in the positive here. So that $4,500 will always be in there unless I make a really bad option trade on this end. But for the most part, this is money that I made that doesn't affect the stock side. So this is money that I have and it's banked in there. Um, so as long as I don't take like a $6,000, $7,000 hit on my stock side, I should be good to go. So that is all going to be for today, guys. Please, guys, hit the like, comment below, subscribe. I'm at almost 250 subscribers, I'm trying to hit my goal at 300. Um, so definitely hit the like and comment below. Thank you guys. Have a great day.